platforms for labor that sustains revival. Number one, kingdom advancement prayer and fasting. Paul, the great apostle, was a fasting machine. First Corinthians 11 27. In fastings, not fasting, fastings. Second Corinthians 11 27. In fastings of fastings. In weariness, in, in painfulness, in watchings of in hunger and that where there is no food, he turns it into fasting. In fastings often, in cold, in nakedness. There was also a man given to prayer. Galatians chapter 4, verse 19. My little children for whom I travel in bath again until Christ be formed in you. Colossians chapter 4, verse 12 talks about his co-liberal who gave himself to always laboring fervently in prayers. You will never find a quiet maternity. Have you ever been to one before? For a baby to be delivered, even if you are in the covenant and you are believing God for swift delivery, there will be a moment when you will shout. Because there cannot be delivery without a travail. In the same way, revival cannot be bad and sustained without crying in prayer. Today we don't have wet eyes again in prayer. Today we don't have people screaming again in prayer. That's why revival is getting farther away from us. We need to get back. The first church was a loud praying church. If people are not complaining about your church in the neighborhood, perhaps the church is dead. Every church that is in revival always have complaining neighbors. Oh, they are making noise. Oh, they are praying too much. Oh, they are blocking our traffic. Oh, they are doing this. There is no gentle, quiet church. Every revived church generating heat spiritually is a laboring, praying church. Only groaning church will end up as growing church. Only groaning ministers. A number of times till now, when I, even when I lay down on my bed, I find myself crying inside. I'm looking for something. I'm looking for God. I'm looking for revival. Something burning on my inside that puts me on my knees before I know it. That makes me to lie on my floor before I know it. You must give yourselves to prayer. Fervent prayer. You can't pray a baby prayer and expect an adult result. There is no baby that is taking Sarilac that can finish the lack and go and carry, you know, a cement bag of cement. You need develop muscle. Many of us want to see great things, but we are doing little things. Praying, fasting. Any technology that wants to take place of fasting, you must reject it. Any lesson that tells you you must be taking a cup of tea when you are fasting is a deception of the devil. If you are fasting, fast. If you don't want to fast, don't fast. Especially young people. Look, if you don't maximize your youth, you will cry when you become old. Maximize your youth. Some of us are seated here, you are just starting ministry and food finished in your house. Turn it into fasting. It's not new. As a young pastor, there was a day food finished in my house. Many of us don't know the stories. Food finished in my house. There's no time to tell the world what I did. To improvise for the food. Sleeping on mattress. Laid on bench. No bed. One pair of shoes. One coat. No podium, no table. I was a bench man. Everything I had in my room, everywhere, was church bench. No air condition, no fridge, nothing. Yet excited.
They said, does he want to kill himself? Lobro lebo reda badai. Esi ke kega. He kega ga. Bo she kega 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 kega. If you miss this as a young man, you will not be able to jump when you are old. I thank God I did I maximize my use in ministry. Again, I want to say to you, when they take tell you take it easy, don't listen, don't take it easy. Take it hard. Only those who take it hard will fly it high. Hallelujah. So engage in prayer and fasting. You see, many people don't know that prayer and fasting is like spiritual investment. If you see someone in ministry today at age 70 that is eating before he went to preach, don't copy him. Don't copy him. As a young man, don't copy him. He has paid his due. Now he needs to be relaxed. Because there is a time you have to eat for strength. As a youth, you eat for pleasure. As an old person, you eat for strength. Before that time comes when you'll be eating for pleasure. Deny yourself eating. I mean, before that time comes when you pray, eat, be eating for strength. Deny yourself eating for pleasure. Pray and fasting is one thing the devil is using to take away the power of God from the church today. Get back on it. It will make a difference in your life.